back. What, ten days away? We're getting there, but Mike's just getting her dialed in. Can't get here soon enough. Last year, I was out to North Dakota quite a bit, filming Brennan and some of the other guys, but this year I actually had a tag in my pocket. Early season was pretty slow, actually, uh, above normal temperatures, and deer just weren't on their feet like we expected them to be. So we switched our efforts back to Wisconsin for most of October and November. Pretty pumped. Uh, had my uh, girlfriend Brianna behind the camera tonight, so it's awesome when you can get something done like that. But uh, the Schwacker just tore her up. I haven't seen a blood trail like that. And, in a lot of years, so the triax is on the board. On in. All right, got some back straps in. We're ready to rock and roll. Got a bunch of work done out here in North Dakota for our late season to kick off, and uh, we're pretty excited. So we're gonna get this on the can cooker and uh, the boys are getting the blinds ready for tomorrow. And then uh, we're gonna eat and uh, get some sleep. We've been up for like 36 hours or something like that. Drove through the night to get out here last night. And uh, we're gonna eat and hit the bed. <laughs> Here. A new whip, man. Yeah, looks good. People can have their early driving. That's yeah. all I gotta say with that trip. You gonna throw it on here? Yeah, we're gonna break this baby in. Let's do this. Waiting for it to warm up in here. About 10 more minutes and it'll be up to about 50. It's a little chilly in here tonight, but we just rolled into camp about 10 minutes ago, got everything unpacked, and Fred and I are out here for the weekend. So we got two nights. This will be the first weekend out here of late, late season. So we're gonna check cards in the morning. We're excited, that's for sure. We got a couple new spots this year that we're excited to get in and check cameras and uh, hopefully we got something good showing up. So we're gonna warm up, dive in bed for a couple hours and then get to work. Brent and I drove out here last night after work out to North Dakota. Got in like two or three in the morning. Got a couple hours of sleep and then uh, got up and we had to run around and pull cameras all morning so we didn't get done with that till like almost a little after one this afternoon and uh, looking through the cards this spot we're sitting tonight is about the only spot that we got a, a good shooter that's been daylight the last three days here so last couple days he's been in here like right around 3 30 so we hurried up and got dressed jumped in the car and peeled over here and it's like, it's gotta be like 320, 325, so it's kind of a marginal wind, but we're just playing our cards and hopefully he comes in.
that's a good shot. I don't, uh, I don't like those quarter and two shots very much, so. I just elected to just hopefully wait until he turned and give us a shot. When he turned, he just turned and walked almost straight away from us, so. But we got, we got a good hour before dark. Bean cover on. Fling some arrows and head to the blind. It's about like 1.30 or so, so this deer that we're after has been last three, four days he's been in there between anywhere 2, 2.30. Yesterday we, we were in a rush to get in the blind. And luckily we did to like 15, 20 minutes later he was there. Today we're not in a rush, we're gonna try and get in there plenty early and just hope he shows back up and we can actually get a shot tonight and not just watch him. Christmas day in North Dakota. We're gonna get into the presents. We got darts. So I'll have to beat you with these tonight. What else you got to it, man? I don't know, this one. This one might be a winner. Oh. 
We got us a 30 rack bush light. <laughs> Best Christmas present I've had in a while. Well, it is December the 25th, Christmas Day. We're in North Dakota. North Dakota's been giving Brennan and I a curveball to say the least, but we're looking to take that to right field tonight and get us a buck on the ground. December the 25th, Christmas evening here in North Dakota. And Brent and I have been working our tails off out here this year and uh, can't thank him enough. He's been out here numerous trips filming me and uh, just kept giving her strong and um, got the okay from the girlfriend and the family to come out here for Christmas week with Brennan. So I can't thank those guys enough. And uh, tonight was just uh, one of those nights I didn't I don't think either of us thought it was gonna come down to it. And uh, right at last light, this guy decided to mess up and come in and present a 20 yard shot broadside. Deer didn't go 100 yards, so pretty pumped up. This is my first North Dakota buck and first one with Brennan behind the lens. Uh, I've been out here filming him a couple times uh, before this year and then most of this year he's been filming me, so couldn't be happier. It's been one hell of a ride and uh, we're gonna keep going. We got another tag to fill this week yet. Yeah. 